Let's talk about the future tense in Finnish. Did you know there's actually no future tense in Finnish? Yes, we can still talk about the future in the Finnish language, but it's not done by conjugating the verb, uh, which is what we do when we talk about the past tense in Finnish. So for example, the sentence Mina menen Helsinki can mean both I go to Helsinki, but it can also mean I will go to Helsinki. They would both be written in the exact same way. So how do we distinguish between the two? Are we talking about the present or are we talking about the future? How is this done? What? That's confusing. I'll talk about the three most common ways that we can talk about the future tense in Finnish in just a moment. But first, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, italki. What is italki? Italki is a language learning platform providing high quality and personalized one-on-one -on -one teaching. Italki aims to help you achieve fluency through live interaction with a personal tutor via scheduled lessons that you can book for a time that suits you. You can find Finnish teachers on their website, and before booking a lesson, you can watch the teacher's introduction video and also read student reviews to help you pick a teacher right for you. That's how I chose my Korean teacher from the 330 teachers offering Korean classes on italki. Watching the introduction videos paid off as I really enjoyed our lesson together. Italki is pay as you go, meaning there are no subscription fees and you can buy lessons individually or save by purchasing lesson packages. Are you interested yet? If you said yes, I still have a special discount code just for you. Use my code CATCHATS to get 5 euros off of an italki lesson if your lesson is worth 10 euros or more. So that's up to a 50% discount on a lesson. There are only a limited amount of these codes, so please be quick, don't hesitate, and go click on the link down in my description box and use the code CATCHATS when you are purchasing a class. So make sure to book a finished class now from the link down below. Also, by clicking on that link down below, you help me and my channel continue making videos like this for you guys for a much longer time to come. Thank you! So the three most common ways that we can talk about the future tense in Finnish is number one, using context. Usually if you're having a conversation with someone, you'll be able to deduce based on the context whether we're talking about the present or the future. For example, if someone says, Orota, menen kotiin. It can mean both wait, I'm going home, or wait, I will go home. So based on what is said before or after, you can kind of figure out whether this person is currently on the way going home or they will be going home. So just based on the context of your interaction um, and your conversation in general, you'll be able to know what is going on. Number two would then be using adverbs to add an expression of time. I think this is what I personally use the most, and I think in general this is a very popular way to make your sentence very clear. So there's no guesswork, nobody's having to guess things based on context. You just say the sentence in present tense, but you add a future expression of time. So in this way, because you have this adverb in your sentence, based on that adverb, people are like, okay, you're talking about the future. It's very clear, and this is how you can make a sentence easily refer to the future without confusing people. So, what I mean an adverb that expresses time are, I have here nine examples. So, number one would be beyond, which translates to soon. So you could say lahden pion, which means I will leave soon. So instead of just saying I will leave lahden, you say lahden pion, I will leave soon, which means I'm going to leave in a short moment, you know, um, in the future. 
Uh, number two is kohta, which means in a moment. You could say menen kotiin kohta. I will go home in a moment. I will go home. Skohta can also kind of be soon. In a moment, just in a little bit. Um, soon means kohta. So menen kotiin kohta. I will go home in a moment. So kohta here is the time expression. So you're, it's very clear that it's going to happen in the future, but in a short, in a short while in the future. Number three, huomenna, which means tomorrow. If you say a sentence in the present tense and add the word huomenna, everyone will know you're talking about tomorrow, which means you're talking about the future. For example, annan tän kirjan sulle huomenna. So I will give you this book tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Huomenna. Huomenna. Myöhemmin, which means later. Teen sen myöhemmin. I will do it later. Okay? The next one is ensi viikolla. Next week. Mennään ensi viikolla. Let's go next week. Ensi viikolla. Mennään ensi viikolla. Let's go next week. Or ensi vuonna. Next year. So, ensi vuonna means next year. Pidän loma ensi vuonna. I will take holiday next year. Then we have yli huomenna. The day after tomorrow. So, yli means over. Huomenna is tomorrow. So, over tomorrow, which is the day after tomorrow. You could say something like, Uusi elokuva on teatterissa yli huomenna. The new movie will be in the theaters the day after tomorrow. So again, adding yli huomenna makes it very clear we're talking about the future and we're being very specific about it. Tulevana keskiviikkona, which means on the upcoming Wednesday. Keskiviikkona, on Wednesday. Tulevana means the upcoming, so the next Wednesday. Postitan paketin tulevana keskiviikkona. I will post the package on this upcoming Wednesday. And finally, the last example I have of this is kolmen päivän päästä. In three days. You can say neljän päivän päästä, viiden päivän päästä, kymmenen päivän päästä, etc. etc. So you just say kolmen päivän. Päivä is day päästä, like in three days time. So kolmen päivän päästä. In three days' time. Pyöräillään kolmen päivän päästä. Let's go biking in three days. So again, just as a recap, I know that was a lot of new vocab, but I just wanted to emphasize the point that a very easy and clear way that you can express the future in Finnish is by adding an adverb that expresses time in the future. So adding a word like any of these that I mentioned makes it very clear you're talking about the future and you're also being more specific about when in the future we're talking about. Is it very soon? Is it the next day? Is it a year from now? Um, it does make what you're saying more specific and clear. So I think this is probably what I use the most and this is very common in the Finnish language. Um, if someone's talking about the future to just like add a timestamp there so people know what you're talking about. Number three is using verbs that express intent or intention. So there are a couple of verbs in Finnish that have this meaning that they are expressing that you're intending to do something. So when you use these verbs, it automatically makes it clear you're talking about the future. And I have two verbs that are very common um, in the Finnish language and they are number one, aiko, aiko, which translates to something like I plan to or like to plan to do something or to intend to do something. So if you were use the verb aiko, that automatically means you're talking about the future because you're planning on doing something, you're intending on doing something. 
So if you say, Mina aion mennä Turkuun, it means I plan to go to Turku sometime in the future. Or I intend to go to Turku at some point in the future. Okay, it's your intention to go. So it hasn't happened yet, you're not currently doing it, but it will be done. You are intending to do it sometime in the future. So using that verb aikoa automatically makes the sentence sound like it's in the future. Okay, aikoa, mina aion. The second one is meinata, which also, it's kind of the exact same meaning as aikoa, um, it means, or it would translate to, I intend to do something. Um, but this may not a word is puhekiele. It's much more puhekiele. Sounds much more puhekiele than aikoa. Otherwise, aikoa and may not is basically the same thing. Um, so, for example, if you were to say, Mina meinaan lähteä aikasin. It means, I intend to leave early. Or, I plan to go early. Mina main on i intend or i'm planning on blah 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 okay so make sure these two words are very common in finnish aikoa and meinata meinata if you hear that you know that person is talking about some kind of intention or plan for the future so those are the three main ways that Finnish people can talk about the future in Finnish even though there is no specific way to make a sentence in the future tense. Like you don't touch the verb, the sentence itself remains in the present tense. The only ways you can kind of express the future tense is by working around this. So the three most popular ways for this were um, the context of the situation slash the sentence that you're saying. Number two is adding an adverb that expresses time in the future. And number three, using a verb that expresses intent to do something in the future, obviously. So there are some other ways that you can express the future in Finnish, but I feel like these are the most popular ways and you can basically um, get by with knowing only these three, I think, for the most part. If you want to add something, do leave it in the comments down below, or if you have any other questions, don't be shy to ask them as well. Remember, if you do want to practice this, you can always use my link in the description box and book a class on italki with my coupon code, and you can maybe ask some more questions and practice with some teachers on there. But otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Moikka! Are you interested? Yes? Oops.